is Helen Glowacki. I'm making uh, two kinds of sushi, but I'm Korean, so I grew up making, or I grew up eating um, a, a variation of this because um, the Korean rolls are a little bit different. So the Korean rolls are, um, they're called kimbap, and kim means seaweed and pap means rice. And they're pretty much a convenient food, like a picnic food or a kind of a, an easy food to eat on the go. I mean, it wasn't something my mother made a lot, but it was something that, it was a treat. So I didn't really learn how to make it, uh, make any kind of roll until I was an adult. And I think it's because I, I didn't have any interest in learning before then, and my mother was not, you know, didn't have the time to, you know, I think it was after I was married, actually, that I started making it, and at that point, my mother um, had retired from work, so she had more time as well, so she taught me some, you know, tricks that she had, so when I went to visit her, we would roll some, some rolls together, and she would, you know, teach me different ingredients that I could try. So that's, that's sort of when my rolling took off. I came to the United States when I was five years old, uh, almost six. We had a, um, I guess as far as um, Korean immigrants go, pretty typical experience. We, uh, my parents worked a lot. They worked six days a week. My grandmother thankfully was there, so she was with us a lot. She would take us to the park. She would, you know, pick us up. We, you know, in those days, the kids were on their own a lot and it was okay and it was relatively safe. So, um, I mean, I'd say we had a, you know, pretty happy childhood for the most part. Well, there, there are certain foods that I, I, I think about when I think about growing up. And one is my grandmother was a really good cook as well. Um, both of them, both my mom and grandmother were great cooks. And I remember they made, you know, everything by hand. I mean, there, there just wasn't prepared food that like there is now. So they're, um, Oh, I remember we would have crab and they would buy live crab and they would come in paper bags and we would all get excited when the crabs were there because in the kitchen she would just let them go and then they'd be just like Twitter, you know, like just like crawling all over the kitchen and then she would catch it and then she'd like take the hatchet and go Bleh! and it was just, it was, as a kid it was really kind of, it was pretty cool. So I remember that. I remember they would make kimchi. I never participated when they made kimchi. Um, I do have the kimchi in here. So kimchi, it's fermented cabbage. And um, it's quite a process to make it. But I did have the opportunity to make kimchi with my mom last year and it was super fun. Um, she, you know, and I actually videotaped her, took a bunch of photos to document it because, um, you know, I just, it's something that I want, you know, the rest of my family and my children to, you know, to know about. I really think it's so important to share the stories of our elders. You know, they're not going to be around forever. And those are, you know, their stories in particular. You know, I think my story compares, um, my, my story pales to their story. Um, although, I, you know, some people might think my story is interesting, but when they hear their story, it's just, you know, it doesn't compare at all. Done? Are you done? Okay. Okay.